Hi and welcome to Whiskey Pilgrim and to another review on the smoke that clouds the clear night sky. On this second review I will be reviewing the Lafroy 18 year old. <laughs> um, this bottle is unfortunately discontinued and it's sad. Very sad. Very sad. I have to say. Um, yeah. I knew it was going to get discontinued. Had it for a while before it came out. <coughs> and yeah, I really wish I had bought more when I knew. But I just waited and waited and waited and waited. So yeah, that's what happens. So a tip of you, there is a bottle you do like and you do get to know it's either limited or going to get discontinued. Try to get some more bottles, of course your economy might not allow it, so yeah, I would think about that. But yeah, it was discontinued unfortunately. Really sad, really sad, really sad, <laughs> seriously. It's a shame, actually, when we were at the distillery in uh, 2016, after we done the tour we get, got a dram to try. It wasn't the best Lafroy, I think, or the Lafroy that I would think they should have. Gave, given us as an example of what they can do. The 10 year old color range is still, I think, was more tastier than that one. That was the select. It wasn't to my liking, it doesn't mean it's a bad whiskey, it just means that I couldn't really find it to my liking. Yeah. And yeah, and I had a few of this one, the 18 year old one. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't buy one because I didn't have that money, that much money with me, and the same thing was with the space and the weight. To fly home, I didn't want to pay any extra fees on the airplane, but yeah. Anyway, this one is 48%, non chill filtered, but there is added color to it. Like, unfortunately, that's Lafroy do on there once, but not all of them are none are on chill, are chill, chill filtered. <laughs> Hard to pronounce sometimes, yeah. And uh, as you know, when I'm recording this one, my neighbor upstairs is uh, drilling on uh, the concrete walls, so yeah. In any time now, there might be so yeah. I will pause it when that happens because I think it's annoying as hell. But yeah, that's how it is. At least he's not doing this in the night, like 12 in the night. So you have to be happy about that. Anyway, <clears throat> as far as I know, and I read somewhere, I think this one was matured sorely, sorely on a bourbon cask. I could be wrong, but I read somewhere. But anyway, let's get into the news. Mm. This one has been laying here for quite some time to open up. Of course, you get the typical Isla smoky air breeze, the peat smoke air, salty air. It's like standing next to the ocean on, on a coastal line. You have um, seaweed and all that kind of stuff, it smells. There's also some kind of chemical or cleaning product, nothing in a bad way, but just a typical medicinal thing they have going on. Yeah. Some fruit to it as well. Very sweet, typically. I always find that when it comes to Lafroy or Isla whiskies. Or particularly smoky whiskies, there's always some kind of uh, peat to it. Yeah. It's a good nose, seriously, a really good nose. Um, I know it's like uh, <clears throat> that fruit. But there's some chocolate in there, I would say. Like a milk or dark, bitter, not bitter milk, milk chocolate, and maybe a little bit dark cacao bitterness. There is some fruit to it. Mm, yeah. I wouldn't say pineapple, maybe mango. Pineapple, yeah, maybe a little pineapple too, but mango, definitely. And now it's coming. Can you hear it? No. Yeah. Yeah, very pleasant nose. Very, very pleasant nose. So, let's get into the taste. Cheers! It's very... 
jam, I would say, marmalade. In there, fruity marmalade, orange. I get pineapple as well, as I said on the nose. Some exotic fruits. Um, uh, of course, the medicinal, the smoke, the saltiness. It's really good, <laughs> seriously. It is sad that he's continued it. They're becoming more and more knowledge statements. Everybody has their own view on knowledge statements. I think it's, I understand if there's high demand and you can't produce it because it takes too much. Um, it's still 18 years old and just sitting on casks. So, of course, it's mixed maybe with older whiskies from the fry. That wouldn't surprise me at all. It is good, seriously. This is a good bottle. If you ever see it in a bar, or pub, or anything, try it seriously. You can only buy this now on the this, on the blah, not the black market, but on the secondary market. There might be some shops that still has it. It's gonna go for at least double the price, even more. Yeah, I hope they bring this one back one day. Of course, they're gonna be a, another flavor profile for that one, but yeah. It is sad when it is continued. There are so many bottles that get easily continued. Sometimes for good reasons, because they can't keep up the demand. I understand that, but this is seriously a good Lafroy. Really good Lafroy. Like the 10 year old cast range. Really good. And yeah, so that is the 18 year old one. And yeah, on the next one, I will be reviewing the 25 year old Lafroy. Or a 25 year old Lafroy. Yeah, so see you next time and. Cheers!